Hey y'all, good morning. It's been a few days since we had Nash. We've been home for three days now. Wait, no, two days now. What day is it? I swear, that's how I feel all the time. Um, God, it feels like longer. It just feels like it's been a long time. <laughs> um, I am doing great. I'm learning a lot. Matt's doing great. He's learning a lot. Nash is doing great. So today, Nash actually has a pediatrician appointment. So we're gonna go to the pediatrician, see what that's all about. It's our first time, obviously, like leaving with him. Um, I'm really excited to do like all the mom things. Like I'm about to pick out what he's gonna wear and like pack his diaper bag. Um, it's been about three like solid days since I had Nash and my milk is coming in. And I'm not gonna lie, last night I had a moment whenever I went to go take a shower and I was just like, do I wanna do this? Like, do I wanna allow my milk to like fully come in? And I just wanna be really transparent and honest with y'all. Maybe not everyone feels that way, but I feel like a lot of people do. Cause it is a scary thing, especially as a new mom. I mean, if you've been through this before, had kids before, you wouldn't bat an eye. Cause you know exactly what to expect. You know, like what's normal, but um, just, they're just very, very, very painful. And my veins are like black and blue. And like, I'm just looking at them like, do I want to allow this to happen? You know, cause I feel like once my milk is like in, in, it's in, in. And I do, like I know from the bottom of my heart, I do. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I had a really bad mishap in the hospital with one of the nurses. Um, and it kind of, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of scared the crap out of me with breastfeeding and it kind of like tainted my journey. But I think I decided that I'm not gonna throw in the towel quite yet. So I do wanna make a full dedicated video on what happened because I think it can help like new moms and first time moms like really advocate for themselves, which I'm really usually good at. Like I'm really good at pe putting people in their place when they need to be put in their place usually and like standing up for myself. But I think I was just so vulnerable, like having just, it's the most vulnerable I've ever been. I've just given birth. I've never done this before. I'm like a new mom and I didn't trust my gut and I didn't trust my intuition and it totally messed up. <sighs> totally messed up. Nash and I's flow there for a second, but I do wanna like definitely share that too hopefully help someone else. So I am going to attempt to like gather everything and become a mother. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Nash's first pediatrician appointment. Off to see the pediatrician. There's a very good boy in the back seat. On our way back to the pediatrician to check on this little man. Um, he's officially a week old today, which is crazy. I can't believe I pushed him out a week ago. But they said that by a week they should be like getting back to their birth weight. So they're going to weigh him today. And then I think he said they're going to prep us for like the next appointment. Um, but I'm not sure. It's like a newborn evaluation or something like that. So. We're on the way to the pediatrician's office right now. He's in his car seat, sleeping safe and sound. Um, I feel like yesterday and last night and today, he is like get, getting like really acclimated and comfortable in our house. I know that things will change in an instant, so I don't wanna like jinx it. 
but he's doing really good and we're really proud of him. We're so proud of how he did it, his newborns yesterday. And I can't wait to, to like post them on my Instagram and share because I know they're gonna be too cute. And he's just such a good boy. He's just such a good boy. Yes, he is. He's a good boy all of the time. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> Sometimes at home, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if he's going to do good. And then we get to the moment, and he's like, really good. He knows when to act right. He knows when to act right. Okay guys, it is actually the next day. It's been a span of probably like two or three days where Nash had his newborn pictures, which we just got the proofs back for it, and it's so, they're so cute. Um, we had a pediatrician appointment just a few days after he was born, and then we have another pediatrician appointment today where he gets weighed just to make sure that he made it back to his birth weight. So I'm just warning you, I'm trying to like get my bearings straight as a new mom. Things are going really good, but there's a lot of videos that I wanna film like my birth story and I wanna film um, my feeding journey. That was, it's been crazy. It's been a learning curve, but I know I'm not the only one. So I wanna share like my feeding journey and how I'm navigating that. Um, there's just so much that I want to share and I promise that I'm going to but some days it might just be like little clips here and there just like this vlog hopefully I can make sense of it and it's not too like choppy and confusing but I figured if I can update y'all and connect with y'all in any way it's better than nothing right so his pediatrician appointment went so good today Nash was born at six pounds 14 ounces and then our first pediatrician appointment a few days after he was born it's like really just a few days after he left the hospital he was six pounds 10 ounces so he lost four ounces and then today at his pediatrician appointment he weighed in at seven pounds and so i'm just like oh my gosh he passed his birth weight and i can kind of tell because he his newborn onesies are starting to fit him a little better they were swallowing him in those first couple days and I can just tell that like his face is already changing a little bit and it's only been a week. Like how is his face already changing a little bit? It freaks me out. I'm like, he's ready for college. Is he ready for college? It's just so crazy, but I feel so grateful. I mean like being a mom is the best thing that I have ever done. <sighs> it's a dream. I also finally hit 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is a dream it's amazing i call my youtube channel my digital baby because it is i have been nurturing my youtube channel for so long and i feel like it's finally paying off um something's happening over on instagram where my instagram is just blowing up which is crazy um and then with that comes like a lot of you know like emails from brands and companies that like want to work with you so I'm trying to navigate that because I love, like I said, I love being a mommy. I want to continue to be a stay at home mom and maybe I can make this a way that I can make money from it. I don't have like a channel with a specific niche. It's basically just my life and my journey and like I just share the struggles to help other people. I'm seeing a lot of success lately so I'm just trying to navigate that. Um, I don't want to be taken advantage of and I don't want to, you know, I obviously don't want to work with like companies that aren't going to actually fit into my life here because that's the type of videos that I upload. Like you're just seeing my life. Like I, I can't deal with extra fluff. So I'm trying to navigate that, which is really cool, but it's not my priority. Um, getting these videos filmed is my priori priority. Updating y'all, connecting with y'all on YouTube and Instagram is my priority. So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this vlog. I will start getting like better at capturing things, I promise. Hopefully this vlog makes sense. I feel like it was just anytime I had time to like pick up the camera, I would vlog and a lot of it was done for my phone as well but we're getting the hang of it. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I have really awesome videos coming up that could help you and other mamas. Um, and I'm just really excited. We're entering the best chapter of our lives. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.